All right, so hello everyone. Hello teacher. Hello Luis, how are you sir? I'm fine, you teacher. Yeah, I'm great. Thank Hi teacher, how are you? Hey, what's up, Erica? How are you doing, sir? What's up? Study. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, what's up? I don't know. What's, <laughs> what's crack a lacking, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I remember this announcement. <laughs> so what happened what happened to you yesterday, um, uh, Angel? Well, I a little flu. Yeah, that's okay. I understand. But I feel better now. You're better yeah, now. I feel right? better now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I didn't miss you, but I miss the Portuguese guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, you know? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, what, what happened yesterday? Let me. You can give me a, a little review. A little review over there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No problem. So let me share the PowerPoint presentation over here. And um, there we go. So um, let's see here. I see something that you're sending in the, in the chat and then yes. I made it this. Yeah, you know, so Angel, basically yesterday what we did is to practice this conversation, which is okay. uh, was and where, you know, in, in total there, there were four conversations, you know, four different conversations. I briefly explained the grammar, you know, uh, this, uh, sorry about that, this one, you know, point one, two, three, and four. But basically okay. it, was, it was just a review. The main, uh, the main focus yesterday was these uh, four conversations which your classmates practice, and I think that they enjoy it a lot, you know. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. nice. And uh, yeah, they also took a quiz in there, so. Yeah, I did, I, it, I did it. You did it too. How many, how many points did you get? Four out of four? Uh, I was wrong in, in one. The last one? Yeah, no. Uh, in fact, uh, was the number two. All right. Oh, okay. Nice. I missed this. <laughs> Today yeah. in the morning, I did it. You did it again. Okay. And the yeah. um, the correct one, number two, was part B. You know, letter uh, B. Other word. Back home. I, I, I choose to back home. Oh, yeah, that's not the case, actually. All right. So I don't really have to explain this to you because you have the uh, Inglés Corporativo password. I mean, uh, yeah. explanation and platform so you can uh, get this in no time and the yeah, last yeah. the last thing uh, your classmates did is, is this board game yeah okay so they ask questions based on uh, was and where in the past of course right so for example i can ask you right now angel uh, were you asleep yesterday at 10 p.m uh, no it wasn't so you were still awake watching tv or, or doing something right yeah all right, that's good. Okay. And today is Wednesday. Let's see how many uh, students we have in class right now. Let's see, we have Alex, we have you, uh, Angel, Edgar has said hi already. Mr. Mangandi, he's over here. What's up, my friend? Mr. German. And then we have Karen, both oh, Karens, you know, Karen Eunice and then Karen Galdames and Carla Guadron. Except, and then we have Miguel, Franco, Robert, and Xavi Rivas. Okay. For those of you who are fans of Real Madrid, you know, sorry, you know, to bring <laughs> <laughs> this to the table, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not really a true fan hey. of any of these uh, teams. I am, I am a fan of Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to be crying, you know, because of that. <laughs> yeah, but no problem. All right. <laughs> I almost win. I almost win. Yeah. All right. 
the word of the day, you know, for tonight, actually, is this one. It's about time. All right? Okay. I guess, you know, I guess that most of you are already familiar with, with this expression. Okay. It's about time, or you can say about time or bad time. So it's up to you. Any ideas what this, this expression means? Everyone? It's something under the weather? Uh, no, no, really. If you, ask, no, no. If, if you ask about the weather, it's, you know, what's the weather like today, for example, or yesterday, or what's, or what's the weather going to be tomorrow? Okay. Yes, German, it's you like, said something? It's like when you are expecting something, and finally you get it. You say, ah, oh, what's about time? It's about, it's about time. Okay. Yeah, let, let, let me give you an example. You're going to be very happy, German. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I think Barcelona won yesterday, and that was about time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I am, I am a Real Madrid, Real Madrid fan. Yeah. But, oh, but, but. Uh, I have a new team. I have uh, Cadiz this year, you know. Oh, okay. And, uh, nice. Yes, and I'm happy because Cadiz beat Real Madrid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. How, you know, how but... convenient, you know, how convenient of your, of you. you know? <laughs> yeah. Changing, changing teams. Like right now, you know, the, uh, the National Soccer League was open. So it was about time, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can say that. Examples mm. in here. So a definition, uh, it, this is an expression used to emphasize that something should have occurred. Uh, I think it says a long time ago. Okay. All right. So that's, the defin that's the dictionary definition, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, examples in here. Let's see. Well, <clears throat> about time you got here. I've been waiting for over an hour. All right. Another example. You know, some of you might feel identified with this, okay? Like here, you know, in class, you know, I've been here like 30 minutes. It was about time, you know, you entered the class. <laughs> that's just a joke. Next one. Can you hear me? Yes? Yes. 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 Uh, the thing is that I got a message that is stating that my, my connection was unstable, but here we go. Example number two. Well, about time you got here. Uh, I mean, I copied that twice. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's about time that high schools told their students about basic banking and finance. Yeah, I think so, right? And uh, sorry about that. The next, The last one. A Tom finally moved out of his parents' house about mm -hmm. time. You know, he's 40 years old. <laughs> well, well, I think he took too much, you know. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like he a, wait, like a movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think he waited too much. He, yes, like the movie, right? Virgin of 40, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> nice. So, this is the expression for tonight, everyone. If you make the translation to Spanish, that would be ya era hora. All right. So, I think that's a very common expression and highly uh, frequently used among everyone, okay? Nice. What's the main topic for today, all right? The main topic for today is the following, all right? Let me just one second in here. Let me just move this thing. And... Um, all right, so the first thing you're gonna be completing tonight, everyone, it's a general listening quiz, which is a title, acting, school, and movie stars. All right? And I'll, I'll be dividing this a short uh, exercise in two parts. The first one, you're gonna listen to the conversation, take notes about the main idea in detail, and then you're gonna tell me, you know, what the listening was mainly about. All right, so one more time. Write, you may write this down. The first thing you're gonna be working on tonight is, I'll be sharing with you the access to that listening. You listen to it one time to get familiar, you know, with the content and everything. Write what the listening is about. All right, copy that everyone. Yeah. yeah. And the second thing, you're going to be ready to test your comprehension, you know, about the quiz. All right. Okay. So, okay, okay. but before we start, let's go over some vocabulary that is going to appear in the listening. 
So in that way, you're going to be prepped up. You're going to be ready beforehand. Con anticipación, you know. So that being said. Let me just one second over here. All right. So that being said, let's start with this. Uh, all right. So pre-listening exercises. What kinds of questions do people ask when they meet other people for the first time? For example, they might ask about their jobs before they ask their names. Example. So where do you work? How do you like your job? You know, these are very common questions. Okay. But the vocabulary, let's see. Uh, let me choose a couple of volunteers. I'm going to choose Carla and then Roberto and then uh, Alex. So Carla uh, Guadron, uh, Robert Celaya, and then Alex Cornejo. So first of all, uh, I'm going to say the word. You tell me what it means and if it's a verb and, and the synonym you have over there, please. Uh, Carla. All right, so Carla, can you can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, help so, us with. Do I have the, to read. It? Yeah, help us with the first uh, two words in there. So the first one is start off. Okay. 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 Vocabulary and sample sentences. Start off. It's a verb and means begin. Ashley started off her acting career in New York City. And number two is an adjective. It means simple. And the example is, we lived in a very basic house when I was little. Okay, thank you so much. And then let's see, Robert, Celaya, help us with, with originally and gotta go. Yes. Please. Original uh, adverbs. At first, it, in the beginning. My mm -hmm. mother is original from Mexico, but she grew up in the United States. Yeah, that's correct. Like I can say, you know, from my personal experience, I'm originally from Berlin, <laughs> but not Berlin, Germany, you know, Berlin is <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I, I always, you know, yeah, Chilton <laughs> City, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, I always make this joke, you know, <laughs> my mother is originally from Mexico, but she grew up in the United States, originally, you know, originally. All right. And Yes, Robert, go ahead, please. Gotta go. Gotta go, have to go. Hey, I gotta go to work now. See you later. My brother, my brother's uh, gotta study more if he wants to pass the class. Nice. All right. Hey, I'm sorry, gentlemen. You know, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Go. You got... I can say this, you gotta use it. You gotta use this. You, you can say gotta instead of saying have to go. All right? Mm -hmm. That's going to make your conversation and your English more natural. But be careful. If you wanna speak formally, don't say gotta go. Say you have to go, I have to go. All right? But I have to do yeah. this, for example. Okay? It's and like a for the city. Yes, it's a slang. Correct. It's a slang. Okay. okay. Yes, it's a slang. And I, Alex. The no, next. Yes. Okay, honey. <laughs> hey, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, forget it. <laughs> okay. 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 okay You're honey. gonna make me blush okay. here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> okay, sweetheart. Yeah, no, just... Skip that part, it. you know. Okay, Alex, right, right. skip that part, you know. Okay, I understand okay. now. <laughs> Okay. Will you make me say, lunch, please? <laughs> say, honey, uh, an adjective, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sweetheart, dear. Sweetheart, dear, love. <laughs> Hi, honey. Will you make me lunch, please? No, darling. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> 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 make me dinner. <laughs> yeah. yeah we call it, them you know, this is what happens, you know, this is what happens, everyone, when you switch roles in a conversation, you know, yesterday I played the woman's role, you know, <laughs> that's what happens. All right, let's continue with this. Let's continue with this. Okay, so this is going to be uh, the quiz, but let me introduce you to the questions over there. I think 
first of all, we need to activate or to trigger, you know, our memory. All right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's mute your microphones just for a second, uh, very quickly. And uh, I actually did it for you. So the first one is, what's the name of the actress? Maybe Sarah Reynolds, Sarah Rogers, Sarah Roberts. We don't know. The things that these are very famous uh, last names, you know, I think this guy who plays, uh, uh, what's the name of this uh, superhero, which is being malcriado, you know, he curses a lot. I don't remember. Deadpool, I think. Uh, the actor's name is Reynolds, okay? And Julia Roberts, for example. Where is she from? Maybe she was born in New York or she's from Miami or she comes from Los Angeles, from LA. You don't know, right? She's in Compton, right? And, uh, Sorry about that. Next one. Where did she work part-time while she was going to school? Maybe at a supermarket, at a movie theater, at a restaurant. I honestly don't remember. <laughs> okay, so how old is the actress? Maybe 22, 24, 20. And last but not least, what is the woman's hobby? Is she reading, cooking, or shopping? Now, you can unmute your microphones. That's okay. Let me just uh, go ahead and, and uh, send to you that material so you can listen to this. All right? All right. Any okay. questions? Any questions about this? No. Oh, we're clear, right? We're good, right? Yes. Yes. Nice. All right. So the information has been sent twice, you know, to the personal chat and to the Zoom group chat. So Okay. You're going to have, let's say, about, you know, around three minutes to listen and to write the main idea. So now, please don't answer the questions, please. Don't take the quiz. Right now, your job, everyone, is just listen to the conversation and get the main idea down, please. All right? Go ahead, please. Yeah. All right, so one more minute.
All right, so uh, 30 more seconds in here. Let's see, someone's shutting me here. Okay, that just works for my That's why I don't have to, okay. Okay, so time is up, everyone. Let's just stop what you're doing here and uh, let's use the Zoom chat to send what the conversation was mainly about this, okay? So use the chat in here and then just send your response. But let me choose one person here, you know, the VIP team for today. It's going to be Miguel Franco. Mr. Franco. Hey, hello, teacher. Yeah. Uh, so could you please share with us what the conversation was about? Sir, any ideas? It's about the interview of Sarah Roberts. All right. Okay. Thank you. And what, what does she do for a living? Is she, uh, I don't know, a celebrity or... Uh, yeah, she was a celebrity and... So she is famous <laughs> or not? Uh, she is famous, yeah. Okay, yeah, um, I doubt it, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't think she's very famous, but she says that she's an actress, right? Yes. Yeah, maybe she behaves like an actress, but maybe she's not really an actress. <laughs> you know, she's a, a, a an actress to be, you know. I think so. It's actually because uh, after the conversation, uh, a lot of fans uh, was looking at her. Yeah, maybe, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, let me choose a lady here. And uh, let's see who's next. Karen. Uh, but Karen Eunice, because I got two Karens over here. All right. Yes. Yeah, anything that you would like to share with us about the conversation? Um uh Isa was an actress. She worked she works part time at a movie theater. Mm -hmm. And she's from Miami. All right. Okay, so you're helping us with the exam over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Okay, second step everyone. One more time. Uh if you like, listen to the conversation a second time and now take the five uh, comprehension questions and once you're done just send your score to the personal chat okay to whatsapp you know just put over there four out of five five out of five three out of five or five, five out of five always copy that everyone here we go nice once you're done with that i'm going to share the the, the same information about this uh, conversation but the script I'll be sharing the script with you so you can practice the conversation with a classmate. Okay. Nice. Okay. So three more minutes start now. So look at my screen, you know, you know, to uh, get the time. Nice, Carla. You know, you were you you went ahead out of time in here. That's great. Five out of five. And um, the very next one is Eunice. All right. Great job, right there. 
but you know just one thing in here uh, you're not supposed to to you know to see the script you know you're supposed to take the quiz without looking at the script because right now it's listening comprehension okay but you know no problem right there and who's next in here mr franco nice five out of five the very next one we hear it's german you know he's living <laughs> but he's still working in here you know try not to send the brand <laughs> okay no problem you know as long as i'm not sharing the screen you know there's no problem here we, we're we, you know we're not going to get penalized yeah um, i mean try not to look at the uh the script because right now i want you to you know sharpen your listening skills okay and the next one angel five out of five you know, I'm happy about this. Next, it's, uh, let's see here. Robert Celaya, five out of five. Yeah, you're not sharing, you know, the same screenshot, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, no, like, like my students, you know, in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That happens. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that happens very often, you know. <laughs> this this kids, you know, they're they're naughty, you know, naughty kids. But but they're supposed to be like that, you know. Si no, no son cipotes. <laughs> All right, next one it's Alex. All right, I think everybody's done with this, or mostly, uh, most everyone. Yeah, three minutes. <laughs> there we go. You know, the Portuguese guy, all right? <laughs> okay, so gentlemen, I'm going to send you to uh, different uh, rooms, but before I do, uh, I, I do that, let me share with you the script. However, I think that some of you have already access to it, and that's perfect, you know, that, that's great. But officially, let me share it with you. And, uh, and you know, once again, I'm gonna send it to you in the personal chat and in this meeting chat okay okay nice uh did you get it mm, yeah yes i mean it's yes. from the same from the same place but right now you have the script now uh, get familiar with it let's see let me give you one more time you know one more minute uh, for you to get familiar write down any new vocabulary as i'm speaking right now you know get familiar look at the clock over there and then if, it, if there's something new or any word that you want me to help you you know how to pronounce it tell me please right now all right I scan the I scan the, the document please all right so if everything is good let me split you up in in purse all right so are we good? Good, sir. Um, let's see. Okay, and uh, I just opened the uh, breaker rooms. So Alex, you're gonna be working with Karen and Robert and uh, Karen Galdames, you're gonna be working with uh, Carla. Ilio, you're gonna work with Robert Celaya and then Luis with Miguel Franco and uh, Angel with German, but I don't think he's gonna be here now. So I'm gonna send, let's see, uh, let's see, Robert, I'm gonna switch you to work with uh, Angel, okay? All right, so everyone join the breakout rooms, please. I will start. Okay. Teacher, we have to practice, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Hello, this is James Godfellow for Channel 4 News. Today we are interviewing Sarah Roberts. 
the start of the new movie Zombies on Mars Part 4. Sarah, thanks, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Amy. It's James. Wherever. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's start off <laughs> the interview with a few basic questions. First of all, where are you from? Well, I am originally Whatever. from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Sir. But we moved to New York when I was three years old. I lived there only. I was 17 and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where do you go to college? I attended Fernando School of Acting and Okay. All oh, right. Okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup and and did I say I love shopping for clothes? <laughs> <laughs> well you do say say clothes. Oh yeah, well, do you want to take some pictures of me? You know, for your homepage sure. or your blog, or you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Yeah, I think well, we will be okay. <laughs> okay, well, um, oh look, all my fans. Hey, you gotta go, honey. Hi, everyone. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, honey. She doesn't have. She doesn't have a fan, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's not popular. Now, uh, let's switch the roles in here, please. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, please. Thank you. Okay. Hello. This is Yemen Goodfellow from Channel 4 News. Today we are interviewing Sarah Roberts, the stars of the new movie Zombies on Mars, part four. Sarah. Oh, thanks. Mm, let me see. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want to take some picture of me? You know for your homepage or your blog. You can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Uh, I think we'll be, to be okay. Okay, well, um, oh, oh, look, all my fans. Hey, gotta <laughs> go, honey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Grandiva, yes. Grandiva, you know, she's, she's, yes. she's a celebrity, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. I mean, like when she says, hey, you're welcome, Jimmy, it's James, whatever she goes, right? <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, like yeah, I don't care whatever. what her name is, whatever, right? <laughs> nice. Did you practice once or two times already? Uh, only once. one. Now let's switch the roles. Now one of you is going to be the celebrity, and then the other one will be the news reporter. Please. Okay. Okay. All now right, I okay. am the I am Sarah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, this is James Goodfellow from Channel for News. Today we are interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie. All right. So I, I see some faces in here already. You know, you escaped the you, you escaped the breaker rooms. Very, yeah. Excuse me? No, Karen let me talking by myself, you know? <laughs> she, <laughs> le <laughs> she left you, you know? She left yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, she's like, okay, whatever, right? No, talking with Roberto was a good conversation, really. <laughs> great, great conversation, great yeah. talk over there. All yeah. right. Okay, second practice in here. Let me send you a uh, second time into uh, new breaker rooms. Hopefully, you're partners are going to stick around <laughs> you know completely okay. and uh let's see how it goes but now try to act it out please don't read you know try to uh, make eye contact at least with the camera or with the roof <laughs> you know with right. the seat. <laughs> yeah you never know right okay uh, so Try to practice a conversation twice with your classmates. One time you're going to be a news reporter and the other time you're going to be a celebrity, you know? Like you switch roles in there. Right. You try to do it quickly with the right intonation. Let me just one second here. You're talking about, about this, this type yeah. of simple. Yeah, okay. same one, please. 
Hold on. Uh, <coughs> there we go. Uh, Angel, you're practicing with Roberto Lechi Celaya. Okay. Yeah, last time you practiced with Robert Alas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now Alex, Alex with Elio, Miguel with Roberto Alas, Karen with Carla. I think you were together before. And then Edgar with Luis. I'm gonna switch some of you over here. Let's see. Okay, and then I'm descending. You know. All right, so Edgar, I'm gonna move you to room number four. There you go. All right, so Robert, uh, try to join, please. A breaker room. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. Okay, you don't know who who your partner is. I don't have the option either. Okay, cutting. Uh, it says no joining here. All right, assigned to. So Robert Celaya. Okay, I'm gonna open. Yeah, okay, so Karen, eh, I'm gonna send you to practice with Javier Rivas, okay? Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Eh, sign to breakout room six, okay. So, uh, well, so I, I feel that a uh, little arrogant because in the conversation, don't remember the name of the host the first time. And the second, well, uh, she said that she grew up in, my, in Miami and later just late to move, move it to, to Miami, to, well, to LA, Los, right? uh, Los Angeles, uh, with the actress career. Uh, and then, uh, then say that uh, she works part time in a movie theater. Making popcorn, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> like in the popcorn, yeah. I, I, you know, I, uh, I thought she was going to say that she worked, I don't know, as an actress or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. She and, had 20 uh, years old, no? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no. In fact, yeah. uh, she. She has, she have uh, 20 years, but so everybody say that he looks like 20 years old. Oh, yes. Yeah, she, she is 20, but uh, she believes that she looks like a 22 year old person, right? Yeah, yeah. Something like, okay, oh, let's, practice, let's try to practice the conversation and last time, last time, please, in here. Okay. Or did you practice already? I mean, over here? What? Uh, Go ahead. Try to practice, please. Okay, okay. But where is the conversation about it? I mean, I said, I said, it's the interview. Ah. Oh, okay, 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 I don't see it. The, the same one, it. yes. Okay, yep. I see. The start of the new movie, Summits in March, part for Sarah O. Thank you for your emails. You're welcome, Jimmy. It does, James. Whatever. Well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. First, basic, right? Oh? Uh, uh, yeah, a few basic questions. And then, first of all, where are you from? A few basic question. First of all, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. So I lived there until I was 17, and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and um, where do you go to college? 
I attend Fernandez School of Acting. Um, all of my teachers love my acting. And do you, and do you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I work in at a movie theater, and everyone loved the way I made the popcorn. Really? Okay. And how are you now? Well, I only twenty, but everyone I know says I look at least twenty-two. All right. Okay. And what are you hobbies outside of? There we go. Okay, so can I have two volunteers to practice the conversation here in front of the class? Two volunteers. It could be, okay, okay you're going to be the, the news reporter and Anita Lee. Do you know we're going to get into the role over here? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Okay, we're going to mute the microphones of, of everybody else. And I think... <laughs> uh, again. Oh, my God. All right, so you're muted now. So, Alex, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Okay. Hello, this is James, good fellow from Channel 4 News. Today we are interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie, Zombie on Mark Part 4. Sarah, mm, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Jimmy. It's uh, James. Whatever. <laughs> well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. Go home, first, right? <laughs> first of all, where are you from? Well, I am originally from, from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. Oh, I lived there until I was 17. And then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay. And where do you go to, to college? I attended Fernando School of Acting, and all my teachers loved my acting. And did you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I worked at a movie theater, and everyone loved the way that I make the popcorn. Really? Okay. And how old are you now? Well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says I look at least 22. <laughs> All right. Okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup. And and did I say I love shopping for clothes? Well, you did. Well, you did say clothes. Oh yeah. Well, do you want to take some pictures of me? You know, for your home page or your blog, and you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Mm, I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, um, oh, look, all my fans. Hey, gotta go, honey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Good job, good job, everyone. And let's see, uh, so one more, I mean, two more volunteers, a gentleman and a lady, please. Okay, Karen is going to be the one, and then let's see the brave gentleman. We have plenty of people in Thanks, here. Sir. All right, thank you, Angel. Okay. All right, I'm going to mute my microphone right now. You see the screen over okay. here? Okay. And okay. Uh, sorry about that. Go ahead, please. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't see the first part. Yeah, sorry, I'm not trying to, you know, share the uh, title okay. of the page and everything. Okay. <laughs> but I think you can see it now, right? <clears throat> okay. Hello, this is James Goodfell from Channel 4 News. Today we are interview Sarah Roberts, the star of the movie Zombies on Mars Part 4. Sarah, oh, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Jimmy. Oh, it's James. Whatever. <laughs> well, let us start off. The interview with a few basic questions for uh, for all. Where are you from? Where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. I lived there until I was 17, 
and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where did you go to college? I attend Fernando's School of Acting and all of my teachers love my acting. Ah, and did you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I work at uh, movie, theater, movie theater and everyone loved the way I made the popcorn. Really? Okay. Uh, how old are you now? <laughs> well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says I look at least 22. Okay, well, I'm only 22. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not going to. Right, okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Uh, oh, I love shopping for clothes in my cat, my makeup. And did I say I love shopping for clothes? Well, you did say clothes. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want to take some pictures of me, you know, for your homepage or your blog? And you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Oh, I think, well, okay. Okay, well, um, oh, look, all of my fans, hey, I gotta go, honey. Hi, everyone. Yeah, hi, thank you. I hi. appreciate that. Now, let me, let me just point to something over here. Very good job, by the way, everyone. Not only you, but the, the ones that I was able to listen in the breaker rooms. Now, this is the perfect example, I would say, when you need to emphasize particular words, like, Sarah says in here, where did you go to college? You know, news reporter. And then she says, and all of my teachers love my acting. Right. So remember, if you want to emphasize a word, you can do it. That's, that's okay. In English, it's one of these languages when you can actually overemphasize something. Okay, like, like look yeah. at that, please. Like something like that, right? And then she goes like, I, I know, uh, everyone I know says I look at least 22. You know, in other words, you can be dramatic, <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you like to, right? Yeah, like, like the news reporter, well, you did, I mean, you, yeah, you did say clothes, you know, like, like that, right? Okay. Like you can change the intonation and that's okay. And I think, believe me, that's one of the key, okay, factors of English, okay? All right, so now next activity. We only have 13 minutes before this class is over. So let me stop uh, sharing this screen. Uh, I'll be sending to you a board game. All right, not a boring game, you know, it's a board game. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Board game, board, yeah. board. <laughs> it's, not, it's not boring game, you know. There we go. Uh, so we're done, this one. So this is what we're going. This is what we're going to practice. I'm gonna to send to you the image directly to the personal chat. So allow me just one sec. Come over here. Let me look for it. In the meantime, in the meantime, you know, get familiar with all the questions over there. You can write. I don't know any examples down. You can think or prepare the answers. Okay. So just right. one sec. Come in here. And um, you know, hopefully the image I'm about to share with you, it's, uh, you know, big enough for you to see all of the questions. So I think it's going to be legible, you know, legible, legible. Yeah, legible. Yeah, I think it's gonna be legible, that one, perdón. Yes. Legible. De la segunda forma, you know, second, second way that I sent it to you, that's the one, legible, you know, legible. Solo con una e. Nice. So let me uh, split you up again into, uh, you know, breaker rooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. Just one sec, come in here. And uh, how play this? So bear with me just one moment. Let me let me uh, go to the breaker rooms in here and see what I can do in here. Um, all right. Um, so how many participants are, are okay? Twelve participants, and um, there we go. 
All right, so join the uh, breakout rooms, please. Thank you. So, Karen is with uh, uh, Carla and Luis. Edgar is with Elio. Alex with Miguel. Karen with uh, Javier. And then Jacqueline with Robert. And so, Angel, again, you're with Roberto Alas. <laughs> okay. I think you, you left already. All right, so Robert, are you having any issues with your connections? Because I don't see you having, you know, you have joined uh, the break rooms. Nice, that's much better. Okay, and um, this, and then this one, join. Okay, uh, everyone. Uh, what time did you go to bed last night? Um, to be honest with you, I don't remember, but I think I I think I went to the bed um ten thirty p.m. last night. Oh, yeah, and. What about you? Where did you go for your last vacation? My last vacation? I don't remember. I believe that I didn't go or oh, anything, any place. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, due, to, due to COVID, right? Yeah. COVID-19, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, really? And, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, what, <clears throat> what did he say? No, I said that you didn't go anywhere because of COVID-19, right? Well, because of the okay, coronavirus, okay. right? Yes, oh, okay. it's so difficult to go out. Uh, what did you eat uh, for breakfast? I, I cook um, a chicken sandwich. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, I made a, a chicken sandwich. Okay, okay. And where did you go to the school when you were younger? I went to Instituto Nacional de San Bartolo here in Salvador. In San Salvador, sorry. Okay. Um, no, it's Carla. Okay, yes. I will ask to Karen, what did you eat for lunch yesterday? <laughs> Only food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I had a, a hamburger and fries. Okay. This is so healthy. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give, 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 me, give me a minute, but my computer it don't have a charge. Okay. 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 All right. Now, the, uh, let me just interrupt you here. The good thing about this board game is, is, is that it has numbers, right? So I can say, okay, number four, number uh, 19, I'm gonna ask Carla. Carla, number 19, what did you wear yesterday? That's a weird question, right? <laughs> it, it, it's a strange, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, supposed, I'm not supposed to ask you that, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I wear... <laughs> I wore... I'm sorry, I wore uh -huh. um, a blue blue jeans and a pink blouse and tennis. Yeah. yeah, you can say, you know, I didn't I didn't wear anything special, you know, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say I wore and then you mentioned that. Or you can say I used. 
Ah, okay. yeah, I, I just yeah. send I just send that to you, okay? Okay. Thank or you can say I don't really remember. I mean, or why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but this is not a real life, you know. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yeah, continue. I mean, you still have a uh, Karen to practice with, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, Karen, uh, what did you do last uh, summer? Yeah. Number five. Number five. Yeah, and you? Mm. All right, practice, practice, practice. Okay. Finish. <laughs> okay, so did you did you finish all the questions, uh, Javier? No. More or less. Uh -huh. <laughs> let, let me ask you in here. Uh, do you remember where did you spend New Year's Eve last year? Or were you drinking with your friends? <laughs> Number 23, 23, Chavi. Where did you spend New Year's Eve last night? That is December 31st, the 31. Uh, Do you remember or you forgot totally? <laughs> no, I remember. Okay. I, I spent time with my family. Uh, that's what, the, you know, everybody says, really, you know. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's like, like where? Like at home, at church? Uh, in, uh, my in, in my house. Okay. Me too, nice. in my house. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will say yes. And then, uh, let me ask you, Karen, you know, this is going to be something personal, but you can say yes or no, or you can say I pass, you know? Okay. So, who did you kiss yesterday? Number 26. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was not okay. I wasn't. I was. Okay, you can say that's personal. You know, I don't remember. You know, okay. or I didn't kiss. I didn't kiss anyone. You can say, or I just kiss, kiss, kiss my son, my daughter, or my friend. I mean, <laughs> all right. Kiss my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's come back to the main session over here because I think the class is, is about to finish. Okay. 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 I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I mean, I was saying that, did you learn something tonight? You know, something new out of the conversations? You know, that, that was a funny conversation, right? Yeah. You know, the, you know, James or Jimmy, you know, versus the celebrity to be. Right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Not like nice. Celebrity, very really. <laughs> All right. So one more day tomorrow and we're, and we're done for the week. That's good news. Yes. Okay. So, so hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to do my best, mm -hmm. you know, to get material so you can be uh, entertained, you know, practicing and learning something new. I got to go, you know, I got to go because I have another class. That's cool. You well, know, I'm back to work. So see you tomorrow okay. and <laughs> enjoy, tomorrow. enjoy the rest of the night. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.